I'm going to say it. Gonna... Like, all it says is, hi Crystal, this is Nikki. Well, Nikki is your cat. You've got a cat called Nikki. That's who I say in your letters. When I say, I hope Nikki's all right. I'm talking about your cat, Janessa. You've got two cats. You've got a cat and a kitten I know, and she's, a dog, Max. Yeah? She's just Nikki, when I mentioned in my letter saying, I hope Nikki's all right, she wasn't very well, was she? No. So, Nikki, where is your cat? Janestra. Yeah, she's just said I uh, to call her back about this. So someone's been nosing in let your letters, thinking I'm talking about a person called Nikki. I don't know a person called Nikki. Only that you, Janestra, have got a cat named Nikki. Well, like, there's lots of people called Nikki. I know everything I write. I like my memory's good. And how people are trying to... So you said I only write to Janestra, I don't write to anyone else, says Jennifer. Her mum, M A M U M, is Jennifer. Janestra won't be living with Jennifer, uh, and Janestra knows it. She, she's an adult. If it has suddenly passed away, she relied on Jennifer. Remember, Jennifer might, she's getting to an age now, Jennifer is. She may, is making sure Janestra's entirely independent, and she gets all her benefits as well, which Jennifer, Janestra lives on. And me, Jennifer, isn't on any benefits at all. So they're going to have a job getting anything in Jennifer's name, aren't they? And I don't, I don't get my rent paid either, Jennifer doesn't. That's because you've got left yeah, money. Yeah, well, I should say that. Yeah, I know you've got left money by that. And well, there's nothing left. Yeah, but I was entitled to it. Half the property money. A oh, Victoria oh. Road he never shared with me. Well, we were joint owners. Yeah, well, Dad said to me he didn't get much from that. Uh, and then they had all those inheritances he certainly didn't share with me Jennifer because they were his relatives and I didn't ask him about any of the, his inheritances that he got he got his father's, he got his mother's he got Aunt Doris's and he got Uncle, Uncle Jim's so it did not me Jennifer they were doing I just wondered why he didn't spend it while he was alive. Well, he wasn't expecting me to live on, was he? Why? why? I don't know. It hasn't quite worked out. They got them really in a... He thought that if he had that money, why he didn't spend it? It's just well, weird. where is it? Because I certainly haven't got it. Who has been? Saying they're entitled to it, it isn't Jennifer. Jennifer, me, Jennifer was Derek's wife of over 54 years when he passed away. Derek did. It would be longer now if he was alive. It, it, it would have been longer, wouldn't it? Because if, if and no, no one knows, so many now are fake their own deaths. We don't think Derek has, and, and Jennifer doesn't know anyway. It, 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 he's still married legally to Jennifer if he's alive. It would be bigger me if he. I know he's dead because I went to the co-op and saw it. Saw Dad. Yes, you did, Janice. Yeah, I did. I saw my dad. Well, you made sure you did, Keith. Yeah, but I'm saying, you was it? Yeah, because I wanted to make sure he was. Information. Oh. 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 I've said goodbye to my sister the same way. And Amanda was in the chapel at Whitstable. Me and Dad went to see Amanda. Uh, you didn't see much of Jeanette as Amanda while you were in Gloucester, did you, for 
words two years to that but no I had a call from you at one I think it was six in the morning to tell my it was me and Martin that was doing all the giving Jennifer. That's not a nice thing to say. I didn't even know my sister was ill. No, I didn't say that at all. You, you have to listen to everything me Jennifer I didn't says know Amanda. Before you can say what I've said and what you made out of it. I've not said anything. What I I'm, said. I'm just trying to speak and all I said was I didn't know my sister was ill. If I'd have known Amanda was ill, I probably would have come down. And seeing that I had... Well, your letters are still somewhere you've left up in Gloucester that Jennifer sent you. No, I haven't. I know my husband got rid of all my stuff when I left him. He threw my stuff in the bin and he put it into charity shops. He didn't keep any of my belongings. He threw it away. He threw my clothes and my belongings into charity shops and bin bags. What I'm saying is that I was a married woman with two small babies. And now you're the mother of four children, Janessa. Yeah, I know. And have been for many years. And when my son contracted cancer, I, I didn't know he had cancer when I was down here. I, I only found out because I found my ex-husband. I wanted, I, I didn't intend to stay in Chatham for, for longer than about a month. You're still here since moving the moon. Yeah, down. yeah, because I had my flat repossessed. And you came alone, you didn't come with anyone, did you, Janessa? No, because I had been arrested, hadn't I? I, I was I, fresh out the police station. It was the same day I was arrested, September the 3rd, um, 2008. Two days before Derek's birthday. Your father, Derek Trower, Janessa. Yeah, yeah, that's when I came down. He certainly wasn't Jennifer's father. And Jennifer and Derek weren't both connected. No, Jennifer your... didn't have Derek's blood type, and Derek didn't have Jennifer's blood type. Your father was called Tom Howe, wasn't he? No, that wasn't my father. That was my mother's second husband. Oh. My mother had been married to her twice, says Jennifer. And your grandmother Trout had been married twice. Derek's mother. And you and the granddad Frank Trout had been married twice. Yeah, because um, there's some still some uh, relatives, aren't there, of granddad. And yes, and the diaries I think have got probably got a Frank Trout's there, but for Jennifer's benefit in the end. Yeah, he actually, he, 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 he wrote, he, let's say, the, the, the first diaries, he realised he'd been told lies Frank Rauchow had. So in fact, he's got another set of, of diaries which will, come, will be to Jennifer's benefit. What have you got that those no as well? no one can get hold of them. No, that's rubbish. That's a load of lies as well. You don't know that, I'm uh, older grand, than you. Grand, grand, Jennifer, it's nearly 80, Janester. You're only 55, 22 um, years younger than Jennifer. Nanny and Granddaddy told me the truth when I was a little girl. They told me everything. When I was little, I used to visit them every weekend on the bus by myself. I went, I was about seven and nine, and I used to go on two buses to see so Nanny. So you have got good memory, so you can start remembering. So wasn't I? I went to the, I went on two buses by myself when I was seven to nine years old. Anyway, let's have that. Yeah, it's easy to to. Yeah, I do remember everything. Well, that's very good to hear. You're over the age of eight years of age, aren't you, Nestor? Over the age of what? Eight. Yeah. When you can't, don't have to talk. Oh, I don't. I don't understand what you mean. What was that saying? You were saying about witches, they were all oh, bald. Yeah, you said witches are totally bald. I've got a head full of hair. I didn't say you were a witch, you have to remember what I say and listen to everything I say. You said. were talking about witches, weren't you? Well, a lot of people do nowadays. There's so much bad going around, it's got to come from somewhere. Is the matter of finding out where it's coming from? says Jennifer.
To transparency, the path can be far from clear. 72% of senior decision makers don't have confidence in the ESG data they report and the risk of getting it wrong. Remember that yourself, me, Jennifer's that was only married once to Derek Trower. Yeah, I wouldn't want to get and married again. And I certainly again. wasn't Derek Trower's other woman, was I? Jennifer's wife was, didn't they? Who was Dad's other woman, Mum? No, I'm saying what I'm saying is, I looked at, I looked as if I could. When people hadn't seen me, I suddenly saw Derek with someone. They thought that like, I, me, Jennifer, was this other woman. Yeah, but who was he with? Me. Yeah, so there wouldn't be another woman, would yes. there? Well, yeah, well, he had to go, yeah. Oh, I'm not saying... There wasn't another woman. I'm not getting involved with Jennifer, is it? I certainly wouldn't have stayed with a man that was cheating. Well, you just said that, didn't you? Me, Jennifer, didn't you? second husband and Derek's father, the belongings came down. Now you know how small our house was, yeah? There was no room <coughs> for a three-piece suite. There was no room for anything else. As well you know, Dad didn't like clutter, did he? So who was outside and said, oh, well, I take it, Derek, Judy Preston. That's probably where De Derek's mother's belongings went. I'm not saying it was, but she was outside again when Derek arrived home with his mother after they'd cleared the 83 stillness road out. Again, Julie was there. 
She was there when I fell, fell down the stairs at Victoria Road. Julie Preston, Paul Preston's wife, the mother of Claire. Julie Phillips originally. And her sister. Julie had a sister. And who was one of the people that had me put in a psychiatric ward? One of the neighbours that complained about me? Julie. Why did they, what did I have no, I don't know why, how. It's all going to be sorted out, don't worry. Not going to happen this time, what happened in 1993. So, the neighbours like ganged up against you and put you in. No, I didn't say anyone ganged up against me at all. I don't have a paranoia complex, me generally. But say it. you were paranoid, but that you had to. to um, to get put in a psychiatric hospital, you have to have doctors come out and, and, and agree that there's something wrong. So if there was nothing wrong with you, then you didn't need to go. Well, so, perhaps Jennifer needed a rest. Were, were no you, way they could do it. Were, no, but were you forced to go to the hospital? Did they section you? No. Well, then you needn't have gone to the hospital. Uh, They section you and no, they didn't. Well, well, then you, you wasn't. And I was only in there three weeks, and they let me home every day, every so often to go and get clothes. Yeah, but if there was nothing wrong, and why? I walked. I didn't get, have a car taking me. If there was nothing wrong, why did you go? I have no idea. I mean, God have, knows. Surely they, does. Surely they Anyway, don't question it. It's over and done with that I'm not, now. Oh, I'm not questioning it. I'm just saying, why did they keep you I in don't three know. weeks? I have no idea. I wouldn't have stayed. And it was you that had the can, wasn't it? What? When you was in hospital, did you not have patients open cans on you? Well, that's my business. I don't go complaining. Because when I was in the... I'm not bringing it on. I know. When I was in the post office yesterday, a couple of people had cans in their hands. Well, you're not me, Jennifer, are you, Jennifer? No, no, so it's I, nothing to do with you. I'm not saying that. And but you that, weren't even here. You were up in Gloucester. No, there's several times I've gone outside and people have popped cans in my face. But that was you, wasn't it? No, I wasn't there at all. No, no, you was in hospital and you said that somebody opened cans. Anyway, I'm not interested. I'm all out in Well, forgotten. I'm interested in my safety. Well, and you're not Jennifer, Janessa. I know, I'm not Jennifer. You don't have to know my business, you're not me. No, you had just told me about no, it. No, I'm not. You told me about the cans. I didn't say that at all. No, well, I'm just saying what's happening to me when it was ha happened to you, right? Cause that, well, that was over 30 years ago. It wasn't I'm only just saying now. because that taxi driver nearly crashed the taxi last well, time. Well, I have nothing to do with taxi drivers, so I can't comment. No, you no I'm not I saying that. I don't have taxis. I wasn't with you when you were in a taxi. I don't even share a taxi with you. Me, Jennifer, doesn't. No, I know that you don't. But you're supposed to be my mum, yeah? You're supposed to be caring. Yeah, but I wasn't there and I don't know and I can't, I can't comment. No, but I, I, I don't. I don't get that connection with you. I'm as not a witness, so I don't know. I'm not that. I don't get a connection as you as a caring mother with me. Well, that's entirely up to you. You have your own opinions. God has another. I just feel like I'm. You know, I, I don't know what. Why would why would people do that to me? Attack me? I'm completely innocent. I've done nothing wrong. Well, you're Janester. You aren't Jennifer. Are you? I know, but whenever you say that, they outside the people act like I am. I don't There's think nothing. so. They know the difference, Janester. They know. Well, you're then not they me. Might, Well, then they must be doing it on purpose because I've caught them on camera in the post well, office. I don't have a I, mobile. I, I don't use a mobile or a camera, me, Jennifer. No, well, I've caught them doing it. And I don't think 